In this video, I'm going to share six online games that will help boost your graphic design skills. And if you're a graphic designer, especially a beginner, you may want to try some of these games. These games will help you learn alignment, typography, the pen tool in Photoshop, and colors. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. The first game that we're going to look at is this very popular game. It is called the Bezier game. And just like it says, it is a game that helps you to master the pen tool. So whether you be using Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, this game will be for you. Now it provides you with instructions on how to apply the pen tool and you can use it to create shapes. We are going to practice over here and we are going to look at how to implement that in Photoshop as well. So for starters, this gives us a very basic one. You can practice over here. So assuming this is your pen tool, you go over the nodes. So this is the first one, second node, and then the third node over here. You can apply the same principle in Photoshop. Let's look at how it is done. So here in Photoshop, let's go to view and then let's go to show and set some grades so that we can have something similar to what we have in the game so if you pick your pen tool for instance you have the shape and then you have the path in the game we are using the path so let's choose the path but you can also use the shape so the game taught us to create like three basic nodes so the first one can be somewhere around here the second one can be here if you add shift to it it is going to actually create a straight line for you and then you can create a third one over here so you can basically use this to create something unique or something nice for yourself according to how you want it so the second practice that it gives you is this particular one over here so we have to create this that to create about six or five nodes so that's the third one the fourth one is here the fifth one is here and then the last one so let's see how you can do that in Photoshop as well. So I can right click and then delete the entire path that I just created over here. So let's assume that this is our center point. Okay. So we pick this as a center point and then we can pick over here as the next point. You click over here. We can come down like that. Click over this point as well. Click here and then we can come back to our center point. So you realize that we've created something similar to the one that we just did using the Bezier game. And this is an interesting way to learn the pen tool. Now in the same way, you can change this path to shape and then it is going to create a shape for you. So just like what we did, it is going to create the same thing for you. But this time around, it is going to include a shape. So you can do your practice over here. For instance, like that, you go to this point and I'm using a mouse. That's why it is doing like that. And you see that you have your shape created like this. Very simple way to practice the pen tool. Now the next game we're going to look at is it's centered that this game helps you learn alignment. Alignment is one thing that is very important when you are designing and especially when you are using Photoshop. Now, thanks to the latest versions of Photoshop, you can easily align things. But if you are still using Photoshop CS6 or the likes, you may want to really take this game serious so you go to begin over here and by looking at this before we even get into the video by looking at this think that the small dot over here is it centered or it's not centered so you are going to make the decision so you take a critical look at this and then you are going to decide whether this is centered or not according to where i see it from i'm going to go for a no and you can see right over here that it says a no it's not centered how about this one is it centered or not so is the dot in the center what do you think this is going to be a no that's right now this is very easy this is going to be a no oh this is actually a yes when it comes to that so i actually got two corrects over here now how do you apply this in photoshop let's say in photoshop we get rid of the grid over here we are going to fill this with a solid color and let's go for something like this color right over here now assuming you create a dot like that how do you know that this is centered if you look at this from your perspective do you think that this circle is centered or not with any photoshop you can easily check whether this is centered or not when you start dragging this you can see that 
it will bring you an alignment and this means that it is centered vertically and if you bring it down a little bit you are going to realize that this is centered both horizontally and vertically but if you are using the previous versions of photoshop you might not actually see this in it and even with this someone can actually turn it off in photoshop if you press ctrl plus h the alignment option in photoshop will be turned off so if you move it around you not get to see whether this is centered or not and for that if you really want to be on the safer side you can press ctrl a make sure that you center this let's say you align this vertical centers and then you can align this horizontal centers to make sure that this is in the middle but if you want to be on the safer side if you are using from 2019 up was yes hit on ctrl h again and your alignment will be back on the next game that we're going to look at is the Ken type. This basically helps you to learn Kenning. Now, Kenning in typography is basically the spacing between individual characters or letters. So if you check over here, you can see the spaces in between this. And if you look at this, even from a layman's point of view, you realize that this is not spaced out nicely. So this game actually helps you space out your letters very neatly. For instance, I can drag my letter over here and then I can go ahead and click on done and this is going to give me 46 out of 100 which is not so good so you can click on next and then you can as well position this so let me position this as well let's see how I get for this one this is 83% which is very fine let's do one more so this is rosy let's see oops that's 69 percent so this basically gives you an idea of how you can space out your letters and your characters in photoshop now when it gets into photoshop you can find your canning and your tracking and all the things that you need to do about your typography or your test in the toggle character and paragraph panel i made a dedicated video on how to use all of this if you want to check it out so you can play around with all of these and if you don't want to find yourself wanting you can just set this to zero and you are good to go now the next game we're going to look at is called i shot the serif so serif and sans serifs are both typefaces but the serif font comes with that extra lines at the edges of it or at the feet or that extends to the letter and the sand which according to google is a latin word which means without s any test that does not come with that extra tiny lines at the end of the letter if you look at these two alphabets for instance this is the serif this is the sans serif this does not come with any letter. so let's go ahead and play the game let's begin with the junior all right so which one is the serif so there's the serif there's the sans serif so basically you are going to be able to choose the sans serif from the serif so I'm going to pick this and this and then i'm going to pick this 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 oops that one is not bad okay and this so as you advance then the the letters will be becoming more where's the other one? Oh god i can apply this in photoshop as well So let me know in the comment section which of these so britannica bold is it a serif or a sans serif now glitting is it a serif or a sans serif and glitting all caps serif or sans serif let me know your comments your answers to these questions in the comment section so you can see that if you go into your photoshop font family for instance you are going to have so many fonts some of them are serif some of them are sans serif so let me know your answers to these questions in the comment section now the next game we're going to look at is i love typography this particular game helps you to learn more about typefaces so if you look at that very right side over here it gives you the typeface categories that we have we have the script sans serif serifs slap serifs handwritten and so many of them so this is basically going to help you identify different types of typefaces that we have for instance if you go into your photoshop you are going to find a, a particular section of typeface that is called the myriad or the mirad i don't know how that is pronounced so which of these is going to be the mirad or the myriad okay so you can take over here and the more you play this game the more you are able to know the different type of typefaces and the more you are able to categorize the typeface that each of the fonts that you come across belongs to 
you can go for Hevetica over here. Is it this one or this one? Most of the type races or most of these type races are so similar as well. So which one do you think? Is it C or D? So let's go for this. And Bodoni, I've come across that font before. So let's go for say C. And Century, Century, Century is going to be, oh, this is difficult. Comic Sans. But of course, you can as well Google. Google is your friend. Okay. So let's go for Comic Sans. Okay. This this one looks like comedy. <laughs> Times New Roman. Oh, this I'm going to get it right. And you can go on and on and on. So I got 9 out of 30. <laughs> this is so bad. So, But of course, the more you practice over here, the more you're able to figure out the different typefaces and different fonts and which typefaces they belong to now the last game we're going to look at is color method this game helps you to learn more about colors hue saturation complementary analogous triadic and then the tetradic different type of color methods that we have it is very easy to play you just click on it and then you can get started and it starts from the hue so this is going to basically say pick the hue of this particular color okay so this color is blue right so i have perfect and then i can pick it over here so you are picking the hue of the same color the color that yeah that is showing to you so you see that as you drag into it it's kind of fading to the same color and this is the basic one and it's so easier to play but as you move on you realize that it's advanced so you click on it to get started okay so you just be walking around trying to find that color oh gosh should be around it perfect so this going to the pinks perfect and then you move on to the complementary colors as it progresses it gets a bit difficult so you see that the complementary colors are going to be quite difficult than the saturation and the hue so you are going to find the two colors that complement each other so i want to go here oh poor right so i told you it gets a bit difficult oh this oh this too is poor gosh how so yeah this part gets very difficult and of course you can take your time to play i didn't get one even one correct over here let's try with the analogous and see so this is like three colors so you are going to find the three colors that kind of matches so what i want to do is i want to find one of them and maybe i can find the matching ones exactly so here i can find this one and then probably find the matching ones oh this four okay so let me find the blue the dark kind of blue where is it god oh this is so poor perfect i found it and basically that will be it for this video i hope you found something useful out of this video if you did the subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated let me know in the comment section if you have other games that other creatives can try and thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye